This lesson continues as we move into another aspect of geometry proofs. Now we've been working with the statement reason ones where we're providing definitions and theorems and postulates as our justification of our logic, why something has to be true. There's another kind of proof and they're called coordinate proof. And really what we're going to do is we're going to create a geometry proof with algebraic work as our logic. Okay, It's going to be the reason that we're proving something. So what algebraic work would we have? And the key with coordinate proofs is you must show your work. And even more so, you need to explain what it shows. You can't just throw a bunch of algebra on the page and hope you've gotten something correct. You need to say, this proves this. We do a lot of therefore something. Therefore, the lines are parallel. Therefore, the lines are equal. Therefore. Okay, so that's how you do the explanation. So what are our algebraic tools? Well, slope formula is one of our tools. And if you calculate the slope of parallel lines, which remember, parallel lines have equal slope. So if you calculate slope and it's the same, you can say, Therefore, the lines are parallel. Perpendicular lines, the slope, the slopes are opposite reciprocals. Now, what does that mean? So, for example, the slope of line L is two thirds. And if the slope of line n is negative 3 halves, therefore m, sorry, line L is perpendicular to n. So first slope, reciprocal, turn the fraction over, opposite sign. And then my conclusion, therefore, L and n are perpendicular. Additional tools we have are the distance formula and the midpoint formulas. The distance formula proves length. So if you want to show a relationship between segments in their length, you would calculate the distance formula on it. You could show that they were equal. For mid-segments, you could show that they're twice of one equals the other. And so that would be a tool you would use to calculate the, the length. Midpoint formula is exactly that. It proves middle. Okay, so we use it to prove the middle of a line. And then maybe you need the distance formula or maybe you need the midpoint for another step. But it gives us those coordinates of the middle of the line which we maybe need for a calculation. So that was just a short setup to what coordinate geometry is. Tune in to the next video to see some examples of how you work a coordinate proof.